All right, so I'm here with, what's your name again, sir? I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so everyone, I am here with Bob Mackay, owner of Woodlawn Bowl Family Fun Center. Bob, it's been about two years now that you've basically threw a bomb into this place and renovated from, you know, the bottom up, games room, furniture, uh, scoring system, and now the cherry on the Sunday was the pin setters that you did this summer. So what we did is we ripped out 24 lanes of uh, free fall and put in the the first string edge machines from Cubic AMF here in Guelph, Ontario. So 24 lanes of string, the first sanctioned uh, string bowling center in North America. So uh, Bob, um, I guess the main question would be, what was the main driver behind that decision? And you know, why string? Because you know, I know that a lot of purists like myself are maybe hesitant. So um, you know, you did already have a perfect game here, so you could squash some of those beliefs. So I guess give us your top three uh, reasons why you switched from free fall to string. Well, I think the, the very first thing is, is the breakdowns that we were having on our free fall machines. Uh, secondly, obviously, when it comes to a proprietor, it comes down to costs. And we're gonna be saving an awful lot of money, uh, you know, from parts to salaries and our hydro bill. Our hydro bill alone is going down about 50%. Wow. So those are the three things that, you know, when you, when you look at it, I mean, it, it only makes sense, yeah. it, you know. And even on the safety side, we were talking earlier, um, you know, we got a chance to look at the machines as we saw earlier in the video, and you see everything is, you know, shielded. caged off, shielded off, and, you know, basically anybody could go out back and out do a tangle, right? Uh, so basically any one of your staff that's here on, on the week and weekday, whenever they, they could go out and do it. I think, the, I think the proprietors can relate to what I'm gonna say on a Friday, Saturday night. We have about a two to three hour wait list just to get a lane. And I don't have anybody in the back room. I have nobody. And the person on my front counter, the person in the snack bar, the person on the bar can go back and solve any problem that we've yet, you know, that we've had so far. And there hasn't been many. So, I mean, the worst case scenario is we have a tangle, it's, it's real simple. The machine actually detangles itself. And I, I, I think we've had two. It's been two what, two months now? Uh, yeah, two months. Yeah, yeah. And uh, what's been the the league bowlers' response? You did have some summer leagues that bowled a portion on the free fall and then ended off the season on the string. Do you see a difference in the scoreability? Well, the, the the scoring average right now, from what we know, is we're coming in at about 1.4 higher average than when it was on free fall. Okay. So 1.4. So I mean, that's nothing. Yeah, it's, I was I was guesstimating similar to like what the sport average difference was was eight pins I was thinking that was going to be uh, maybe the difference on string but as you noticed and you know more leagues that you have during the year will get better data so one of the one of the things that the league bowlers told me from our summer leagues is they love the fact that one they were in here at 6 30 they were bowling four games and they were out of here or hopefully in the bar uh, you know by by quarter to nine yeah. So they're bowling four games in in two hours. Yeah, it is a lot quicker oh. too because like they just go up, spot, come down. That's it. It's really quick. So um, yeah, great. So again, a uh, lot of mods. We've got uh, best X. We got center punch, deck lighting, capping lighting. Uh, we've got uh, yeah the string edge pin setter. We also have eight lanes of five pin here. So if ever you're in the uh, GTA area and you make a little bit of a trek here out west, uh, come to Guelph. Uh, ask Bob for the the, the Bufa treatment and hopefully he'll treat you right um, and also we've got a full games room back there that uh, you know uh, hopefully you come out and check it out so again Bob uh, congrats to everything you've done uh, even revamp the, the the sports bar since uh, since I've been coming here over the last year so again uh, best of luck to you and thank you know you. thanks for choosing Cubica and Bufa for helping you out and Bob always a pleasure thank you buddy. okay so um, where can people reach you if they have any questions or comments uh, well they can obviously reach me on on our website they can reach me through Facebook they can reach me here I mean phone I'll number 519-823-2695 and I'll call you back and if you want to come and see the machines you want to talk about the machines you want to talk about anything we've done feel free even on the business end, right? Like Absolutely. You, you've done a lot of changes Absolutely. and you're not afraid of them and you're very present and vocal in the industry. So again, thank you for that and yep. we'll see you. All right, so this is Mark Bufa again signing off with Bob McKay here at Woodlawn Bowl Family Fun Center.
Bon, alors ça c'était l'entrevue avec Bob McKay, propriétaire ici chez Woodland Bowl Family Fund Center. On y avait parlé à propos de ses planteurs, pourquoi il a changé de... Euh, d'une machine free fall à une machine à cordes, puis il disait que c'était une combinaison de, de coûts, euh, de, de, de staff d'employés, ainsi que des sécurités, euh, santé sécurité au travail. Donc c'est une machine qui est beaucoup plus sécuritaire, aucun danger euh, d'avoir des blessures au travail. Donc c'était, disons, son, son top 3, si on veut, euh, pour faire le gros changement. Évidemment, il y a une grosse différence aussi de prix, non seulement sur les items, mais aussi sur euh, les pièces puis tout ce qui peut briser sur le côté euh, des, des, des planteurs à cordes. Euh, aussi, euh, dans le fond, il a fait des ligues d'été où est-ce qu'il y a eu une portion de la saison sur les machines free fall ainsi que sur les machines à cordes. Et il y avait juste comme environ deux quilles de différence euh, en moyenne. Donc, c'est vraiment pas quelque chose qu'on s'attendait. Moi, je m'attendais un peu plus que ça. Mais quand même, quelque chose de très très rapproché en termes de score donc euh, espérons avec plusieurs mois de plus ici dans, dans, dans le début de la saison qui va arriver on va avoir un peu plus de données concrètes pour savoir c'est quoi la vraie différence euh, de moyenne entre une machine euh, une machine typique ou une machine à cordes donc encore une fois ici euh, je suis en direct chez Woodland Bowl Family Fund Center à Guelph si vous êtes dans le coin de Toronto, faites euh, environ une heure de plus vers l'ouest pour venir voir ça. Euh, ils ont pas mal tous nos produits ici, l'ameublement, le système informatique, euh, ainsi que le nouveau jeu de lumière, Capping, ainsi que le Deck Light, ainsi que évidemment Bessix. Donc, euh, venez voir ça ici. Euh, N'hésitez pas à nous contacter à euh, bouffabowling.com euh, puis euh, pour nous contacter, pour soit faire une soumission, une évaluation de votre centre, puis ça nous ferait énormément plaisir. Nous sommes non seulement juste dans les quilles, mais aussi dans tout l'espace amusement. Euh, donc, on fait aussi les mini-bowling et ainsi de suite. Donc, euh, n'hésitez pas à nous contacter. Encore une fois, mon nom est Marc Bouffa. On se voit à la prochaine.